the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Blessed are you, Lord our God, our eternal Father and David's King. You have made our gladness greater and increased our joy by sending to dwell among us the wonderful Counselor, the Prince of Peace, born of Mary, proclaimed to the shepherds and acknowledged to the ends of the earth. Your unconquered Son of Righteousness destroys our darkness and establishes us in freedom. All glory in the highest be to you through Christ, the Son of your favor, in the anointing love of his Spirit, this night and forever and ever. Amen. And let us sing together, O come, all ye faithful. of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. 
This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. And the angels had left them and gone into heaven. The shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The Gospel of Christ. Stille Nacht was first performed on Christmas Eve, 1818, at St. Nicholas Parish Church in Orpendorf, Austria. Legend suggests that the priest and author of the text, Father Joseph Moore, specifically requested that the music be written for guitar by the organist Franz Kruber, because the organ had been damaged by flooding, or in an alternative iteration, a mouse. Another legend suggests it was an intentional choice to use guitar to enable the hymn to be played outside as people wandered through a living nativity. Regardless of why the choice was made, the use of guitar in worship at that time was revolutionary. Up until that point, tradition dictated that the only instrument appropriate for worship was the organ. Nearly a century later, another legend suggests that there was a Christmas truce on the battlefields along the Western Front in 1914, in which British, Belgian, and French soldiers mingled with their German enemies who taught them Silent Night. Today, we are told that Silent Night is the most recorded Christmas song of all time. Around the world, the hymn has been played in some 140 different languages as the faithful gather to worship Christmas Eve. This moment is profoundly sacred and beautiful for many. Still, the history of the song and the frequency with which it is played today serve as reminders that beauty and sacredness need not be limited to a particular tradition and practice. Indeed, there are many aspects of the Christmas story that remind us that God can and does work through a multitude of circumstances to invite us into the beauty and sacredness of God's presence as Emmanuel, God with us. In fact, that first Christmas morning did not fit with the expectations of the coming Messiah for many Jewish people. Instead, we discover the King of Kings was born to humble parents in a stable. His first visitors were shepherds, lowly night dwellers who had minimal status in the world. Foreigners also paid homage before the child became a refugee, fleeing from the tyranny of those in power. Jesus, the Son of God, lived a life on the margins. He ate and drank with outcasts and sinners. He proclaimed the good news to the poor and vulnerable and challenged the powerful. In him, beauty and sacredness 
are continually revealed beyond traditions and practices through acts of love. This Advent season, we have been invited to contemplate what new things God is doing right now. The question is based in the faith that God remains present and active in our world. We believe that God could work through flooding or a mouse to introduce a new instrument for worship, along with a new and profound song more than two centuries ago. We believe God could work amid war to bring peace. We believe that God can work in a pandemic to offer us moments of beauty and sacredness, albeit in new and hopefully meaningful ways. We bear witness to this faith in simple acts of caring and sharing, in phone calls, care packages, donations, encouragement, and more. We have been given glimpses of beauty and sacredness. This is the heart Christmas, regardless of where and how we celebrate it. Whatever we do to honor God with us in worship and in action, there can be beauty and sacredness. Perhaps this is one of the true lessons of 2020. Perhaps this is one of the new things God is doing right now, creating space through which we can better understand that God is more than traditions and practices, that God exists beyond buildings and books, that God's kingdom can and should be reflected in our everyday choices. We will return to our buildings at some point. In the meantime, We are invited to remain open to the ways beauty and sacredness enter our circumstances. May we be signs of faith, hope, and love as we embrace these signs in our own lives. In our prayers, let us light our candles to remind us of the wonder of God's ongoing presence in our world across the millennia as we sing together, Silent Night. Silent Night, Holy Night, All is calm Sleep in heavenly peace Sleep in heavenly peace Silent night Holy night Shepherds quake sight glory stream from heaven afar heavenly hosing hallelujah Christ the Savior is born Christ the Savior is born
silent night Holy night Son of God Love's pure light Radiant beams from thy holy face With the dawn of redeeming grace Jesus, Lord, at thy birth Jesus, Lord, at thy birth Let us profess our faith. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Let us pray. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of glory, you bring your word to birth among us. As you spoke through the prophets and ancestors, empower your church to proclaim your name with boldness and tenderness, that your salvation is revealed to all the ends of the earth. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. You founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Protect the beauty of mountains and valleys. Save glaciers, tundra, and arctic lands from the threat of changing climates. Sustain all things by your powerful word. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. You send messengers to announce peace, build trust among nations, strengthen relationships that reach beyond borders, grant safety to ambassadors, relief workers, military personnel, and health care providers who travel across the world. Reveal your redemption through their work. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is is great. You bring hope to all people. Bring wholeness to all who long for your comfort and companionship. Revive aching spirits and restore tired bodies. Bring healing and wholeness to all who long for mercy. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. You are the fullness of grace and truth. Bless ministries of generosity in this congregation and community. Open our doors and welcome. Extend our tables to guests. And send us out with provisions for those who lack food, water, shelter, clothing, or companionship. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. Claim us as your children in this life and in the next. Encourage us by the witness of the saints across the ages who have testified to your light and life. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of mercy, Come quickly to us with grace upon grace, as we lift these and all our prayers to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Gathering our prayers into one, let us pray as our Savior has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. 
save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, this holy night is radiant with the brilliance of your one true light. As we have known the revelation of that life, light on earth, bring us to see the splendor of your holy glory through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God, Creator, Redeemer, and Life-Giving Spirit remain with you and all those you love this Christmas and always. Amen. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus was sleeping. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky, and stay by my side until morning is nigh. Thanks be to God. May you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.